Hey guys, so in this video, we'll make an Apex Legends Pathfinders style grey player. So you can see, I can even use my arrow keys to move around. And if I click again, so this is this is the grey player we'll be making. Let's start. So guys, files from this tutorial will be available for all the patrons. So do check out my patron. Thank you. I made a player object. As you can see, it's a 2D object and I'll give it a sprite renderer. I'll just use a default sprite. So we can actually see him. Let's just reset its transform. And I'll scale it up a bit. So that's going to be our player. The things I added in our player are rigid body 2D, distant joint 2D and a line renderer. We'll be using line renderer to show our uh, rope for our grey player and distant joint 2D will be used to give the nice swing to our player. Now I made a hook object as our player styled object. It's going to be our grey player hook. I'll select a sprite as our knob. I'll scale it down a bit. So that should be good and I'll use a different material for it so sprites default and I'll just select a different color so we can differentiate between our player we can also do the color thing over here and in the rich body 2d for our hook we make a collision detection continuous and sleeping mode uh, never sleep so when these settings are done let's select both our objects and add a box collider to it box collider 2d and that's all we need for our setup so let's go to our player and add a new script i'm gonna name it grappler script new script create and add let's select our hook object and make it a trigger and in our players distant distance joint 2d's component uh, connected rigid body we'll give hook as a reference so it will be connected to our hook that's why we'll be able to give the swing to our player now inside our script i gave few references as our hook is going to be a serialized field we can just simply drag it inside our inspector so distance joint 2d will be get component distance joint 2d and same for our line renderer we are using our mouse position to detect if we hit any object only then we will grapple and go towards the towards that object so i made this recast hit so which we'll do hit is equal to physics 2d dot recast camera dot main into world point input dot mouse position vector three dot forward so I'll break it down as it's a 2d scene we are using physics 2d and our origin is going to be uh, from our camera's pos screen position to world position towards our mouse position that's our origin and our direction is vector 3 dot forward now I'll make a boolean to check if our grappler is active right now I'll just name it grappler status and now we'll check if our player pressed our mouse button get mouse button down zero and our creepless status is 
false only then we want to grapple on something else if or let's just combine this inside and so if our grapler status is false we'll grapple else we'll make the hook come back to the player so that's what we are doing here also we want to check here if we actually hit an object so hit dot transform not equals null <laughs> if our mouse hits an object only then we gonna grapple is to grapple status equals to true only then we want this to be called and now I just select this when it's false and we actually grapple we want to make its status back to true and same here we'll do it back to false so it's just toggling between both the options so vector 3 to tell a player where the grappler needs to move and once the grappler reaches that point then our player will start to follow our um, our grappler our grappler point so this vector 3 is going to be grapple point and inside here let's do grappler point is equal to we'll just take this camera dot screen position and we'll do new vector 3 input dot mouse position dot x same for the y mouse position dot y and in the z position it will be 10f or 10 in on the screen positions z axis so we just added 10 value to our z now we'll check in the update method if our grapple status is true we make hook dot position equals to new vector 3 dot lerp okay it shouldn't be new i'm sorry vector 3 dot lerp from hooks position to our grappler and the speed will be 0.1 f when we are done with this we'll check if hook dot position minus grappler point let me just add this into a bracket dot square magnitude is less than 0.1f we will want that now our player should start moving it means that our grappler has reached its point our hook has reached its point and now our player should start moving so as our hook's parent will be our player we don't want that our hook should move with our player or so we'll disable its parent won't disable it but we'll set its value as null so it won't be our player anymore and over here let's see that distant join dot enabled equals false so it won't be enabled and over here we'll enable it so it's it gets enabled when our hook reaches to a grapple point or it's near to a grapple grapple point now we'll make another bool 
this bull will tell our player that it's time for him to move so here move and over here we'll set its value as true and we'll move this to our else statement for over here so our hook should only move when it haven't reached its destination so now play move is equals to true now let's do the functionality that our player move boolean will do so if play move we'll do the same thing just for our player this time or not player let's say transform because we haven't given any reference to our player and the script is going script is going to be hold by will be inside our transforms will be one of the component for our transform so and we we'll go to the host position so hook that position and it's all set now if a hook also reaches its position i'm sorry if a player also reaches its position then first thing we'll check if it actually has reached its position so hook dot position if it's less then player move will be false and uh, when our great player status gets false so when the player clicks again what we want is that our distance joint dot enable gets false our hook dot position is back to our transform dot position hook dot parent is back to our transform i think that's all we will need to do let me just double check let's also add a if statement here let's say if this joint dot enable equals false only then let's call both these methods and it needs to be increased for checking so we haven't used our line render right now so but let's go to our scene and see if everything is working so for our hook it will be our hook all right i'll also add few objects to test it on so let's go sprite add a box collider to it rather than adding a box collider let's remove it we should add box collider 2d because our recast is also 2d and it will be checking for a 2d object so okay i think let me just add a ground first let's see what's going on okay so our hook has rigid body 2d and the gravity scale will be zero so let's check it again if it's working so guys after wasting three hours to find the answer that why isn't it working and why was it working before i finally did and it was just a really simple solution so in our hook we need to make it kinematic and keep your simulated on so that's all you need to do
the body type of our hook should be kinematic and simulated should be on that's all guys so uh, for the line renderer that we see between our grappler this thing the line between our grappler and a player for that all i did was line render dot set position at the zero index it's transform dot position and at the one index it's hook dot position and i also gave a transform dot translation on horizontal axis this is really basic and rest of the code is same everything is same so that's all you need to do thank you i hope you guys like it and subscribe to my channel